Friendship Village. Thanks for joining us again today. It's good to spend these few moments together being encouraged by the Word of God and by spending a few moments in prayer. It's great to have you with us today. Before I read the scripture verse for today, I want to just uh, talk here for a moment. Aren't you glad that God is always coming alongside to help? That's the truth. We're never left to fend here in this world through life on our own. I know sometimes we feel that way. Sometimes we get overwhelmed by this situation or that particular obstacle. But the good news is God never leaves us or forsakes us. And he works by his Holy Spirit to come alongside and bring us the help we need. More than 20 years ago, I was in need of a car. And uh, some friends of ours blessed us with a car that uh, they had outgrown, no longer needed. Um, they had actually inherited it from, from a deceased family member and didn't have a use for it. And they knew that we had a need for a second vehicle. And so very, they very graciously gave us their car. It was an early 90s model, a 1991 Hyundai XL. And though I have gone on in later years to purchase the Hyundai product and have been very pleased with it, that gift of a car back in the early 2000s, right around the year 2000, I believe it was, um, turned out to be a bit problematic. And that's because that particular model didn't seem to live up to its name. The Hyundai Excel did everything except Excel. It, uh, it would randomly shut off. You would be driving down the highway and all of a sudden the car would turn itself off and you'd have to find a way to coast and it would not start again until maybe 20, 30 minutes later when all of a sudden it would work. And I took it to mechanic after mechanic and spent all kinds of money trying to get it fixed. And on more than one occasion, I was suddenly caught unexpectedly at an intersection driving what I thought was a perfectly fine car only to have it shut off on me and not start again. And I remember more than once having to push that car off to the side and, uh, and then would go off and get, it what, uh, and get what I thought was a repair job, but we thought we'd, it'd get fixed. But we'd go maybe a couple weeks and it would happen all over again. And even though it was a small vehicle, there were times when the angle of the road was such that it was hard to get that moved. And I'm very thankful God, who always looks out for us, seemed to send along the right person at the right moment or the right group of people who would come alongside and help me push on that car and steer it out of an intersection and get it off to the side of the road. Oh, I'm so glad to have those days behind me. That was problematic. And uh, trying to cough up enough money to keep it running and, and all of that. We eventually discovered the main problem, replaced a computer module in that car, and uh, it ran well until I finally traded it in. But what a problem for several months trying to work that out. My point in sharing the story is on more than one occasion, I was at the end of my rope, caught in the midst of an intersection, needing help to get it moved. And all of a sudden, the right people would show up to help me push it off to the side and to help me do what I could not do on my own. Well, that's the point of the scripture verse that I want to share to us uh, with all of us today. Romans chapter 8 and verse 26 says this, The Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know even what to pray for. We do not know what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. In other words, there are regular times in life the scripture readily agrees when we don't know what to do. We've kind of lost our way, not sure what the right direction is. But the good news is we are not left alone. The Spirit of God comes, the Holy Spirit comes to help us in our time of need. In our time when we feel weak and directionless and not sure what to do, the Spirit of God indeed is always present and available to help. And one way he helps is when we don't know what to do, when we don't know what to pray for, he intercedes for us with wordless groans. Well, what does that mean? Well, he intercedes. It means he takes action. He gets involved. He comes alongside to help. 
And he does so, it says, even with wordless groans. In other words, from a deep place of compassion and care. He feels our need from deep within and comes alongside to help us in the moment. So that's great news for you and I today. Do you feel outnumbered, overwhelmed? Are you caught in, a, in what feels just like utter weakness? Are you unsure what to do or even how to pray? The Spirit of God is here to help. He's come to intercede, to intervene, to get involved, and to make the difference. You might feel like a, uh, an old car that's breaking down, that needs to be moved to a repair shop and, and be fixed up again. And you might feel like I'm pushing with all I know to do to push and get this thing moving, and it's just not enough. Well, he's coming alongside to take on the heavy load, to do the heavy lifting, so to speak, and get us back restored, renewed, and on the right path again, to remake us from the inside out and to give us all that we need to succeed and to overcome. I want to encourage you today that no matter what you're facing, the Spirit of God is here to help. And when you don't know the right words, he always knows what to do. And he comes to us with great love and compassion to make the difference. Let's reach out to him even now. Join me in this prayer. Oh Lord, we come to you right now. And we thank you, Lord, that we are not alone. You have sent the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. You are here by your Spirit, Lord, to bring us the help we need. You intercede, you intervene. You make the difference. We trust you and we call on you even now. And Lord, I pray that in, in the, for, for all of us in this moment, for those of us who are caught in situations where we're just overwhelmed and we don't know what to do or what to say or even how to pray, I thank you that you hear our hearts and you respond. You're here right now. Bring hope, bring healing, bring grace, bring renewal, bring direction, bring your peace. We trust you. We keep our eyes on you and we turn to you, thankful that your word is true. Thanks for intervening and making the difference in the midst of our particular situation. I pray that for every person listening today. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Oh, it's good to know that we can turn to the Lord who always hears us and who has sent his Holy Spirit to help. May that thought encourage you today. We're doing our best to show you these videos three times a day. They're meant to be brand new at 4.30 in the afternoon. They repeat at 8 o'clock at night and then once again at 8 o'clock the following morning. You can always catch them on YouTube. Simply type in Encouraging Words with Burt Campbell and you'll find all of our videos there right now. God bless you today. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next time.